Hello and welcome to Zig's Math Lessons. I'm your host, Zig will be at B. Stunk, and this is where we become the best science, technology, engineering, and mathematics students for miles around. So let's get started with arithmetic series. Okay. A series is the sum of a sequence. Here's an example of a sequence. 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, which we can see is an arithmetic sequence because 5 minus 2 is 3, 8 minus 5 is 3, 11 minus 8 is 3. We have an arithmetic sequence, and this is an arithmetic series. You see, it's just the commas have been replaced with plus signs. A series is the sum of a sequence. T sub 1 is still 2, first term in the series. T sub 2 is 5, the second term in the series. T sub 3 is 8, T sub 4 is 11, and T sub 5 is 14. But what we concern ourselves with series is the sums. S sub 1 is 2. S sub 2 is the second sum, so it will be 2 plus 5. So S sub 2 is 7. S sub 3 will be the sum of the first three terms. S sub 3 is 15 because it's the sum of the first three terms. 2 plus 5 plus 8 comes up to 15. S sub 4 is 26. Now what one might do is go, well, S sub 4 is going to be S sub 3 plus 11. So S sub 4 is really the previous sum plus the current term. That's one way to get it. Or you could just go 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus 11 is 26. So to get S sub 5, this 26, and add that 14. And we've got S sub 5, 40. So we concern ourselves with sums, the sum of terms, S subscript. And S sub n is the previous sum plus the current term. Finding the sum of a series. Here comes a formula. Johann Karl Friedrich Gauss, seven years old. He was born in 1777. Going to kindergarten, his teacher asked him to add up these numbers, ask the whole class. The class consisted of kindergarten to grade eights. Add up the numbers class from 1 to 100. Little Carl Friedrich Gauss at seven years old was done instantly. It took him no time. He said, sir, I'm done. What you want is that sum, which is the same as this, because we could write the numbers the other way. So twice what you want is, well, you're looking Twice what you want is a whole bunch of 101s. 100 plus 1, 99 plus 2, 98 plus 3, a whole bunch of 101s. How many 101s? Well, we can count them. 100 101s. That's twice what you want, so one time what you want is 50 101s, 50 50. He was done. Little seven year old Carl Friedrich Gauss. Now on to the formula. We want to find the sum of n terms in general of an arithmetic series. Well, here are the n terms. The first term is a, the second term is a plus d, the third term is a plus another d, a plus 2d, and on and on and on, all the way up to the nth term, which we know from the formula is a plus n minus 1 times d. Now, according to Mr. Gauss, we could write it backwards. So take this term and write it over here. Take this term and write it all the way over here. And then draw a line and add. And in every case, we'll get a plus this, which is 2a, plus n minus 1 times d. We'll get a plus this, which is 2a plus n minus 1 times d. In each case, just like those 101s, 
we're going to get 2a plus n minus 1 times d. The question is, how many of these square brackets do we have? Well, if we look up here, we can see that we're going to have n of them. n of them. That's how many. And so all we need to do now is divide through by 2, and we'll have our new formula. Here it is. S sub n, the sum of an arithmetic series, is n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. It has to be memorized. And now I've got five examples for you. Example, find S sub 24 for that series. Well, n will be 24, a will be 6, d is the result of subtracting backwards, there's our formula. Plug the numbers in and do the math. Let's go again. Find the 20th sum of an arithmetic series. Given t sub 1 is 5 and t sub 20 is negative 52. Sub into the term formula. You see, the term formula steps up and, and plays a role in this as well, the term formula, which we know to be this, a plus n minus 1 times d. So we could take the minus 52, which we know, know to be t sub 20, and put it here. a, the first term, a, that's 5, 20 minus 1 is 19, d. A little bit of math, drag the 5, divide by 19, evaluate, d is negative 3. So the term formula has stepped up to the plate and given us d. Now we'll use the sum formula to find the sum of the series. That'll be easy to do because now we have d and we have a, the first term, and we know what n is because we want the 20th sum. So just plug all the numbers in and evaluate. 20 over 2, of course, is 10. 2 times 5 is 10. 20 minus 1 is 19 times minus 3. And there we have it. These two formulas for arithmetic sequences and series are like teammates. If, it was, if the game was volleyball, this would be the setter, and this would be the spiker. This set up D, and this used D to give us the answer. Let's do three more examples. Oh, a word problem. In an auditorium, the first row has seven seats. The next, like that's right in front of the stage, the first row has seven seats. The next row behind that's a little wider. It has 10 seats. Then the next row has 13 seats, and so on and so on, until the back row has 91 seats. How many seats in the auditorium? Well, this is the sum of all the seats. So it's the sum of an arithmetic series. Solution. You can't find the sum of the series if you don't know how many terms there is. This is always true. One can't find the sum of a series if you don't know the number of terms. So start with the term formula. There's our term formula. We know that A is 7, the first term. We can figure out easily that D is 3 because... The second row has 10 seats, and the first row has 7 seats. 10 minus 7 is 3. 13 minus 10 is 3. And we know the last term is 91, so t sub n is 91. So t sub n is 91. That 91 is going right there, and we'll plug them all in. Multiply out, collect like terms, drag the 4, divide by 3. N equals 29. So this teammate has done its role. And now it's time for the other one. 
to step up. The, the, sum, the sum formula steps up, and everything can be subbed in. We know n, we know a, we know d. n is 29, so this number right here will be 28. And we have to evaluate expressions in math. Do the math on a calculator if necessary. But 98 divided by 2 is 49 times 29. 1421. There are 1,421 seats in the auditorium. Another example. Okay, one needs to read the words. This says a sixth term of the series is 23, and the sum of the first 12 terms is 330. Find the first three terms of the series. Okay. First of all, when in doubt, use the term formula, especially since we know the sixth term is 23. n is 6, and the term is 23. So this t sub n is going to be 23 when this n is 6. That makes this 5, because 6 minus 1. OK, that's as far as we can go. So let's draw a line and do the other side here. The other side involves a sum. The sum of the first 12 terms is 330. As soon as you see the word sum, you go, oh, I know that formula. There it is. Now, the n will be 12, and s sub 12 will be 30. 300, excuse me, 330. So we'll plug in 330 for s sub n, and n is 12. Now, Simplifying here a bit, 12 over 2 is 6, and dividing the 6 into 330 will simplify matters. Six, 12 over 2 is 6, 300 to, 330 divided by 6 is 55. Now we have, in front of us, two equations in two unknowns, A and D. Two equations in two unknowns is grade 10 math. We line them up. Number over number, equals over equals, A's over A's, and D's over D's. But we want to have the same number of A's. So we've only got one A here, and we've got two A here. So we'll multiply this one through by two. Draw a line. And when, when these terms have got the same sign, we subtract. So subtract, and we get 9 equals D, or D equals 9. And this leads to a equals negative 22. From where? Take d equals 9. Plug it in here. 9 times 5 is 45. Drag it over here. 23 minus 45 is minus 22. So a equals minus 22 from here. And so we have our terms. t sub 1, the first term, a. t sub 2, Go add 9, add a d, so negative 22 plus 9 is, is this minus 13, and negative 13 plus 9 is this minus 4. And we found the first three terms of the series. So we had to do some grade 10 math on this one. We had to do some elimination, it's called. Substitution and elimination. We had to use the, the term formula because they gave us a term. And we had to use the sum formula because they gave us the sum. Each question is different. Find the sum of a series. Solution, you can't find the sum of a series if you don't know how many terms there are. So, so therefore, we, we're going to have to find the number of terms first. Well, we know that A is 9. And we know that d is 16 minus 9, which is 7. And we know that t sub n is 212, because they told us this. That's t sub n on the end there. 
plug them all into the term formula. 212 equals 9 plus n minus 1 times d, which is 7. Multiply it out, do a little math, divide through by 7, n equals 30. Now we know how many terms there are. It says first find the number of terms. n equals 30. There's 30 terms. Now the other formula. We know everything about it. Just plug in. We want S sub 30. So N is 30. We know what A is. It's 9. We know what N is. It's 30. So that's why we see 29 here. And D is still 7. Evaluating expressions. 30 over 2 is 15. Multiplying it out. The sum of the series. I'm Siegel V at B. Stuke, and thanks for watching. If you liked it, leave a like. If you like the content, please subscribe. Check back later for updates and new videos, and I'll see you soon.